guys! In today's super satisfying cleaning video, we are tackling the oven because oh boy, was it ever requested. I'm gonna show you the easiest ways to clean your oven, what actually works, and tips and tricks, especially if you're working with a budget, you've got an older oven, you are gonna love these solutions, so I hope you guys enjoy. Or at the very least, just feel better about yourself because your oven looks better than ours does because ours is really bad. <laughs> When it comes to cleaning those pesky oven grates, my favorite trick is to put some towels in the bathtub and about one cup of liquid detergent right in, let these soak for about one to two hours, and everything is gonna scrub off super easily with a Dollar Tree bristle brush. Cleaning between the glass panes doesn't have to be hard. Take a Dollar Tree fly swatter and rag and put a little bit of glass cleaner on it. Open up the bottom of the oven drawer and you're gonna stick it through some of the little grates. It will send you right up inside and you can do a little bit of cleaning. Some ovens even have these on the top. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And now for how to clean your oven. Mix four parts of baking soda with one part of water. And you wanna mix this together until it forms a thick paste. You may have seen this tip on Pinterest and here's how to make it work really well. You wanna spread this on the dirtiest parts of your oven only and let it sit for about 30 minutes. My favorite tip is to put a garbage bag or newspaper underneath of your oven because this does get a little messy and also grab a Dollar Tree scrub sponge. These come two for a dollar. Dip the sponge in straight vinegar and then just scrub vigorously. And I'm doing this in real time to show you how easy it is. If you come to any really stubborn spots, you can use a plastic scraper and those will come right off. When it's mostly clean, spray down with vinegar and then wipe thoroughly clean. This whole process takes about 20 minutes and the before and after is amazing. And the best part is you don't have to self-clean your oven and deal with all the smoke and all the heat. Fast and easy. After all of that work, we decided to invest about $10 in an oven liner. These things are awesome. We're cooking with Carson. <laughs> They catch all the spills in your oven to prevent future cleaning. I think these are totally worth it. I'll put a link down below. Now let's talk about the best product to clean stainless steel. This actually came up at a recent mom's night out and everybody was raving about this product so I borrowed it from my friend Jess to give it a try and it is so awesome. I'll be sure to leave a link down below. It's completely natural so if you have little kids that are always touching the outside of the stove, this stuff is great and cleans like a boss. For the top of the stove, I put a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and this will take everything off of the glass with a little bit of elbow grease. This stuff is awesome, especially if you have a lot caked on. And don't forget the forgotten about crevices. A butter knife and a Clorox wipe between the stove and the countertop will definitely change your life. And don't forget underneath of the oven. We almost forgot this spot, but I'm so glad we didn't. Whoa! What is under here? What is in the Wait, and guys, this hot wheels, it's hot wheels. Whoa, it's almost like having Christmas morning, but underneath of our oven. <laughs> How do these things get in here? I don't even know. If you guys like satisfying cleaning videos, definitely leave this one a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can always know when I'm putting out new content, especially because I have a lot of Dollar Tree videos coming up, and you definitely don't want to miss those. I'll catch you there. Bye, guys. How, how dirty is the rag getting? Whoa. It's a lot, isn't it? <laughs>